bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. Pick it up, not break that shit down. Break it down. Speed it up, then slow that shit down on the gas. Slow it down. Bust it. Bust down. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. I'm back, bitches. Cold Pursuit stars Liam Neeson as a snowplow driver and to sum up the plot real quickly without spoiling anything for you guys, um, his son dies mysteriously and he goes on a road of revenge, climbing up the hierarchy of bad guys, trying to find the level 100 boss. The only reason I went to watch this movie um, without having you know, watched any of the trailers, not knowing about its existence until like a week ago, was because you know number one Liam Neeson and number two I thought it was a full-on action movie but apparently it's just a drama slash thriller but still Liam Neeson you know I'll be honest I enjoy most of his action films Uh, yes even Taken 2 and 3 and I know they're terrible and um, even The Commuter which came out last year uh, if I remember correctly and probably my favorite is Nonstop I've watched that a few times but Wow, this is... <laughs> it's pretty trash. Well, to be fair, this uh, film is officially classified as a drama slash thriller. So I can't really complain about the you know lack of action sequences. But the thing is, I wasn't thrilled one bit. Somehow, this 98 minute movie felt like it was 3 hours long because it was bloody boring. The guy on my right, he was constantly yawning and the couple beside me on their phones 90% of the time and You know a movie is bad when even casual moviegoers aren't interested in the least bit. The shitty dialogue didn't do much to save the film. There was so much attempted humour and most of them just came off as being so awkward. I'll be honest, it got a couple of chuckles out of me. But other than that, it was just awkward laughs from my audience. And the thing is, I really did not know when I was supposed to laugh because I was really confused if they were trying to you know, play it for jokes or trying to portray a serious moment. And why are you going to confuse us like this? <laughs> In terms of characters, there are none, right? Non-existent. Even Liam Neeson was so bland and it really looked like he didn't want to be in this movie. And even when your main actor shows a lack of passion to be in the film, it's ultimately going to fail. Yes, this role was essentially made for Liam Neeson, but the trash ass screenplay <laughs> really did not do any favors for Liam Neeson. Let's talk about the big evil antagonist, Trash. His only character traits that we learn about him is that he's a piece of shit, he forces his eight year old son to be on this diet, and he throws a tantrum like a teenager when he doesn't get things, you know, to be his way. And uh, yeah, that's the big intimidating villain of Cold Pursuit. <sighs> you know, I'm still wondering why this is classified into a rated R film because there's non-existent action sequences. They could have just gone for the PG-13 rating and made a little more money. I mean, you know your movie's trash, so at least, um, you know, rate it f- for the general audience to watch so you can at least, you know, <laughs> make some money. Yeah, congratulations, you just lost all the dough you could have stolen from us. In the end, nothing really worked in this film. Um, It was choppy, the acting was below average, Um, the humour completely forced and even Liam Neeson's screen presence could not save this one. I'm gonna give Cold Pursuit a D. I can't believe I watched this over Happy Dead Day 2, but anyways, I'm probably going to be watching it tomorrow. Um, The review should be up by tomorrow itself or the following day, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.